I make comedy shows about maths with Helen Arney and Steve Mould as Festival of the Spoken Nerd. Our most recent show is out now on DVD. The others like to do their music and science things, but I like to stick to actual maths. To celebrate the release of the DVD, I'm sharing a section of the show here on YouTube where I help edit live footage using projections outside of a sphere. All right, now, if like me you are of the mathematical persuasion, you may occasionally be accused of not being useful, right? Uh, <laughs> Apparently just proving that theoretically everything will arrange in 3D space to fit does not count as putting on the dishwasher. <laughs> However, recently I had an opportunity to use my mask for good when I came across this cutting-edge piece of technology. And a lot of people believe that being a nerd is all about having the latest bit of tech. And that is true, but the extreme version of that is when the tech is so new you have to use some maths to write the software yourself. And anyone who uses Linux will know the giddy thrill when you buy something and it's so new you have to write the drivers yourself. <laughs> okay, fewer than I expected, that's fine. Um, oh, if you don't know what Linux is, uh, Linux is a bit like punching yourself in the face. <laughs> and when someone says, why are you punching yourself in the face, you go, well, it's free. Uh, so, so what I actually... Oh, thank you. Hang on, uh, a little too close to home, huh? Okay, so right, what this actually is, is something called a spherical camera. You'll often see these marketed as being a 360 degree camera, which is a shame because that's incorrect, right? Because 360 degrees of freedom when filming would just mean you can go around like this, but not up and down as well. 360-degree footage would be like the world's worst widescreen, right? That is 360 footage. This is spherical footage. And the way it does it is by using two built-in fisheye lenses, which, if the software works, we can get the live feed from up on the screen. Come, Yes! Okay, so far so good. You can see one lens is facing me, you can see me over here. The other lens is facing the guys over there, so you can see them on the far side of the stage. And there's enough overlap that the computer can stitch them together into a complete spherical view in every single direction at the same time. So normally when you take a photograph, you can only look in the original direction the photograph was facing. In this case, you can grab a mouse and you can just grab the footage and drag it around wherever you want, right? You can bring it around over here. You can see, oh, there's you guys. Loving the show, as I can tell. <laughs> Thank you for waving, just to convince yourself it's not fake. <laughs> Which would have taken more effort. Uh, you will, oh, by the way, this is what it would look like, if I get this just right. Here we go. This is what it would look like if you were in the audience watching the show right now. <laughs> modern technology. Um, and, oh, you may have noticed, uh, the one downside to this is when we put it together, uh, it flips the footage. So in reality, I'm on your right, but the first mat down, the one, the one pointing at the next one down, <laughs> is on the left, and then on the right, and then on the left. And originally this was a bug, uh, until we declared it a feature. Because <laughs> watch this, right? Which ones have I walked between it? <laughs> How good is Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. Wait for all the mats to get involved. <laughs> More dancing than I was expecting to do. Okay, so, right, so we got this all up and running, and I keep saying we because I went to a mathematical friend of mine, a guy called Henry Segerman, and who's an expert in spherical geometry. And I was like, come on, there must be some amazing maths we can do using the sphere of footage which comes off one of these cameras. And he's like, well, you can, except you don't get it as a sphere. It has, because it's footage, it's got to come as a, on a flat surface, right? As if it's like normal video. And so what actually comes off the camera is called rectilinear footage. This is what you actually get through the feed. And this is not reality anymore. We've broken it in a couple of ways. For a start, there's now an edge. So you can see, like here, somewhere. Up, if you look at Matt up there, there's the edge to reality. So if I go, like, whoop. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's not normal. Uh, <laughs> 
It also ruins like the top and like that's a mess. What's going on around there? If if I move my arm around it at some point, it's going to detach from my body and fly across. It's not it's not good, right? And we we forget how bad this is because our normal projection of the Earth is the same rectilinear projection, and it only works in the middle. It gets distorted and changes shape the further out. You go, but we see it so often we forget how terrible that is. A much better way of doing it would be a projection like this. So here I have the spherical Earth we all live on, and underneath it's perfectly projected onto a flat surface. Uh, I'll guess all. Down the bottom here is the flat world we all live on, and this is what it would look like if it was perfectly projected up onto a sphere. <laughs> the controversy. Uh, and so what this has done is it actually it takes a vector from the North Pole, extends it down through the sphere, and then wherever the pixel that goes through the sphere on hits the plane, it projects it down there. What it means is you've no longer got any edges and you don't get any weird distortions. And so then I took all of this from Henry and I, took, I went to another guy called Aaron Montag, an expert in live mathematical visualizations. And I was like, right, can we take the feed from the camera and do that live. And unbelievably, Aaron got it working. So this is the live sphere of footage coming off the camera right now. And underneath it is it being projected down onto the plane. And so there's no longer any edges. I can come underneath the camera and that's all still fine. I mean, the North Pole is still a bit distorted, but very consistently so. We can do some very interesting maths with this. So I was like, right, what are we going to do? Henry's like, well, now we've got this projection working with the camera, we can take reality and we can copy and paste it. I was like, I've always wanted to copy and paste reality. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, my top request would have been undo, but <laughs> I'll take copy and paste. So now, if we get, this is just a fixed view uh, directly overhead onto the stage, and you can see there's one mat up on the stage. And occasionally you watch a show, you're like, nah, I wish there was there was more mats. Well, now, two mats. Look at that. So there's now two mats, two audiences, two screens. I can chase myself around the stage. Get back here, you. I can, I can indulge in a little self high five. High five, Matt. Good job. <laughs> you. Right. You can have a lot of fun with this. Uh, it does cause a few weird side effects. Actually, if you folks wouldn't mind giving me a hand, I've brought with me some uh, footballs here. So I'll give you one. Helen, Steve, you take one. If they throw these backwards and forwards in front of the camera, aren't you? <laughs> okay. okay. What you're, uh, it's not that hard. Here what? we go. No, no. If you, yep. <laughs> well, you're making it look hard. <laughs> no. Is it one, two, throw? One, one two, two, throw. Yeah, okay. One, two, two throw. <laughs> no, okay, it's now, not. now all the spontaneity is <laughs> out of it. <laughs> um, you can see in reality they're throwing the balls directly backwards and forwards in front of the camera. Up on the screen, however, there are now uh, two of each ball, <laughs> two of each person, and it's perfectly joined. It's not perfectly joined together. Okay, so let's try, let's try some juggling. So actually, if we give Steve, I've got some juggling balls here. Uh -huh. Would you mind juggling around the camera? I'll okay. go back down to a single Steve. So Steve juggles. Up you go. <laughs> wow. Look at that happy face. <laughs> right, so. What? You've, you've now, if this is the biggest laugh we get all night, you're in so much trouble. This Steve is juggling by himself. If we now go up to two Steves, you can see the juggling tricks are now between the Steves. So each trick is one left hand and one right hand. No, put your mouth on the nose! God, don't! No, 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 take your... You'll go where I say, don't lick it! I'll get you off, off, off! No, 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 you've lost, you've lost juggling. Oh. Just don't, just don't... I don't know what to wipe it with. That's, uh, is it my go? Yes. Well, I mean, it's your camera as well if you want it now. Uh, okay, Tara, let's go down to a single Helen. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so if we can get to six Helens, you burst into applause, we all move on together. Okay, here we go. So, one Helen. So far, so good. Two Helens. Wow. Oh, look at that concentration. Drop it. Three, no, oh! three Helens. Four Helens. Okay, this is quite stressful now. Uh, this is really, actually okay. really stressful. Oh! <laughs> get them, try again. <laughs> it's your time you're wasting, Helen. <laughs> We're going back down to three as a penalty. Okay, here we go. Three Helens. We've now got four Helens. 
Quick response. Five Helens! Yay! And six, six Helens! To watch the rest of the show, grab a copy of the DVD or you can download it from all the usual places. Link in the description. Oh, and you can also get the show on floppy disk because Helen thinks she's hilarious. To watch some more of the show for free, head over to Steve's channel where he's also put a section online. To celebrate the release of the DVD, I'm sharing a section of the show here on YouTube where I help win an argument using temperature outside an aeroplane. So do watch, so do watch Matt's video, video and if you can, and afford, if you can it, afford it, we'd love, love you to buy, buy the show. show. The, the download, download costs just half pounds, pounds or, or even, even less if, if you're, you're a Patreon, Patreon supporter. supporter.